Bangalore, home to India's Silicon Valley. And it's not just the city that's wired. Throughout Karnataka, farmers are as familiar with computers as they are with their bullock carts. Since the program was launched, 20 million land records have been computerized, and 7 million farmers can now access official documents, vital if they want to secure a bank loan for fertilizer, seed or crop insurance. The project is called Bhumi, the Hindi word for land. Until now, land records have been held by village accountants who enter details in handwritten ledgers, usually in pencil. These accountants were often accused of tricking the illiterate farmers into signing away their property or overcharging them for copies of their land deeds. Before the records were given by hand, handwritten, like uh, they used to write in pens and give the records. And uh, at that time, they could change whatever they want. There were tempering of the land records. The village accountants were not available to the citizen when he required them. A lot of fudging of the data and therefore a need was very strongly felt that these records should be computerized and put in a digital form. It took 10,000 officials 18 months to computerize all 20 million records and now alterations can only be made by those authorized by a thumbprint. At this government-owned computer kiosk, up to 100 farmers a day queue to pay for land title copies. Once the details are confirmed, it costs just 15 rupees a copy, that's 30 cents. Before, charges were anything from 2 to 22 dollars, a lot if you earn less than a dollar a day. It is very useful for uh, applying loans and uh, many purposes. This computer, very good facility for us. Just we are paying 15 rupees and we are getting the documents. This is the record of ownership and government recognizes this as such and people act on that, financing institutions act on that. R stands for record of rights, T stands for tenancy and C stands for cultivation, RTC. So for all land related tra transactions it's important. Like much of rural India, most of Karnataka's population is semi-literate. Roads and telephones are few and far between. So Bhumi is a chance to close the gap. 200 village kiosks are now open for business. Run by private entrepreneurs like Mohammed Suman Kumar, the kiosks also sell copies of land records. Mohammed sells between 25 and 30 land registry copies a day. Of the 20 rupees charged, 15 go to the government and he takes five in commission. What I am charging here is much more lesser than the uh, where they are getting from the city because if we calculate the travelling expenses, and the day they were wasting, and the income they are wasting, they are getting at the most cheaper rate, I can say. This farmer is enjoying the advantages of a village kiosk. No longer does he need to cycle several kilometers to town to collect his land deeds. There are other benefits too. Another good thing about this village kiosk is that the man offers computer lessons. This will be a good thing for my children to help them with their education. They'll also be able to learn how to send emails and use the computer to gain knowledge. The Bhumi project is the brainchild of Rajiv Chawla, Secretary of E-Governance for Karnataka State. I love this project. This is Bhumi. Bhumi means land. This is a project by the landless people, by the landed people for themselves.